Simply Drawn here, and today we're drawing a rabbit wearing ski goggles. That's it. I'm going to put him in the corner as a reference for you. So we're starting with the top of the head, and it's a curve like a rainbow. It's a little bit extended because we're going to put the goggles on. And then to the left and to the right, like you're making parentheses. So trying to have them symmetrical, and then connecting with a very, very gentle curve, not a straight line. So then we're going to put on the ears, and there's so many different ways to make rabbit ears. Whatever works for you, whatever you're happy with, but make our two long rabbit ears making, they're kind of the same width the whole way up. That's what makes them different than most animal ears. And our nose, it's below those parentheses, right? Where, and it's the letter Y. And I'm going to do the whole body on this animal, so it's going to be kind of like a keyhole person. So two gentle curves for the sides, and that's where we're rounding down. And we're going to put his legs straight under his nose, so that's where the legs come together. And a leg, a foot off to the left, and a foot off to the right. And I'm going to come parallel to where the seam of the legs are and make my foot. And then I'm just making it like the little shadow right there and then connected it to the body. So now our arms, we'll do them tucked behind his back to make it easier. So it's really just kind of like an L on one side and a backwards L on the other. He's got him tucked behind his back. And you could leave him like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and add on a sweater. And I'm making this come below his arms. And I'm gonna do a wider band on both the top and the bottom. And those will be colored in black. So to separate it. And he's, I'm going to leave him a white bunny, so that will help with the contrast for the face, having that right under the face. And now for the goggles. I'm going to start with like a gentle curve over the Y of the nose, and then the top of the goggles and then it's that symmetrical like parentheses down to connect and then on the other side so there's his goggles you really do need that curve over the Y even instead of a straight line and then I'm just going to make them a little thicker around the edges and if you had something that wasn't quite as you wanted it not symmetrical you can fix it up a little bit with making it a little extra thick And I'm making a little extra thick and a kind of a triangle shape to show his arms. That'll help show his arms because I am going to put a, a design on the sweater. And I just started with some vertical lines down, connecting the collar to that line at the bottom. And this is one of those parts where customize however you want, whatever designs you want. I went in and I just put in, it's really like the letter V coming down the lines and I staggered it a little bit so they don't run into each other and make a zigzag. But I just added that little bit of texture and added some down the sleeves. I went in and added pink. Again, I tried to do a little stop there so you could see if you wanted to keep him black and white. And then I'm doing the whole series with the same color blue into the goggles and the sweater. a little reflection on the goggles. Thanks for watching.